How you guys? Today is gonna be part one of three for where can an informatics specialist work? Hi you guys, this is part one of three of where can an informatics specialist work out there in the real world? This is Jen from Informatics Life where I give you real world informatics content as well as about healthcare technology and leadership. I just wanted to pause to do a very in-depth series on where can you work as an informatics specialist? I know the books tell you one thing, your friends tell you one thing, uh, colleges tell you another thing. So I just wanted to hone it into real world out there, okay? Because I work in the field, I've been in the field going on eight years now, been a nurse for over 17 years. I've seen all of these different positions, so I want to make sure you are in the know of all the job opportunities you may have. There's always gonna be options, all right? I hope you watched my resume and interview series because I truly give you so many tips to build up your resume. Also, I give you just so many things that you can you know, build up while you're in school, while you're on the floor working, while you're in the office working, wherever you work and you got a healthcare informatics degree or you're building up to get to that. I just try to give you tips on how to sell yourself. This, it's a sales world out there, so you gonna have to sell yourself. You know? So I'm just trying to give you ways to boost your resume up, okay? I don't really care about you guys, believe it or not, I do. I'm making all this content for y'all to get ahead because when I got into the field, I was like, informatics, what? <laughs> I didn't know what I was doing. I just know the idea of informatics seemed amazing and I was like, I can do this. And I still didn't know what I was supposed to be doing eventually, but cause I, I got in the field with, I, with my associates. Remember I told you, you know my story, y'all remember my story? So I really didn't know much about informatics, but I love it. I'm a senior manager now in nursing informatics. If I can do it, you can do it too. Let's dive into part one of three of this, where can I work as an informatics specialist? Something you probably never thought about. So basics of all basics. Of course, you can work in an informatics department. Oh, Jennifer, duh. Well, yeah, I just wanna get that out of the way because if I don't say it, then somebody's gonna be like, whoa, why don't you say informatics too? <laughs> I'm just throwing that out. All right, you guys know, you got the degree, you can work in informatics, health informatics or nursing informatics. Now, be mindful, my healthcare informatics or my health informatics students out there, our loved ones out there. <laughs> Remember, look in that description because if they're requiring a medical license, uh, you might be safe if you have that medical license. But remember, some health informatics jobs out there will require an RN licensure, which I wish they would just call it nursing informatics positions because <laughs> I think it can be confusing for people. So health informatics specialists, you look for health informatics job postings, okay? Nursing informatics, you can look for a department that may have, you know, you could work in a healthcare informatics job department, but you can also work in a nursing informatics job department, okay? So you have that leeway as if you have your RN license, you can do either way. Make sure you watch that salary series because it, I go deep into, if you take a healthcare informatics, you know, you may end up taking a pay cut because they don't require a licensure, so they don't really need your licensure, so they're not gonna pay you for your license because <laughs> they didn't need it. So I just wanna throw that out there. So another job that you can do is called a clinical optimization specialist. Now a clinical optimization specialist department could be, could fall under maybe uh, clinical informatics department or nursing informatics department or um, 
it said medical informatics department, clinical informatics department, or nursing informatics department. <laughs> it could fall under any of those. But the job title might be optimization specialist, but that is, it. sometimes facilities might have an optimization department where you really do, that is all you do. You go through every type of detailed documentation there is, and that's the department. Optimization department, or clinical optimization department. So that is a place where informatics specialists can work. Whether you're health or nursing, look for those job opportunities and those departments out there. So another area, now I'm gonna jumble all of what I'm about to say under more IT-ish work. <laughs> and I say IT-ish because these type of departments typically don't require you rounding, educating. It is literally like you're sitting there building, you're sitting there designing and mocking up things in the real kind of like uh, test domains from the EMR company, electronic medical record companies. So like it is like really solely like behind the scenes work, these departments. So with all of that, you may not find these jobs under like a hospital name. You may have to go to the hospital's IT like careers to find these jobs. I hope that makes sense. Like a lot of times hospitals will have like all these clinical, non-clinical positions and then they, they're like special IT area. They'll have like a kind of like a separate uh like a separate kind of like career zone that you can search for. If not, if it's all jumbled up, just remember this might be under more IT than anything. And that is like departments that house clinical documentation teams. That's where they, you know, they create the forms. They create the, the you know, little intricate areas where the nurses document their vital signs, where the nurses document their eyes and nose. So, a lot of those teams are called like clinical documentation or they can be called clinical applications analysts. But just know it's under like the IT umbrella because they don't engage with clinical staff at all. You know who they engage with? Informatics specialists. But as a health informatics specialist and a nursing informatics specialist, you could work in these areas doing builds and mock-ups if that makes sense. So. Where, where can you work? You can literally work in the IT area. So look look for like clinical documentation team, or, you know, orders teams, power plans teams. You can look for uh, surgical, well, I would say like surgical build teams. So they're, they may be even entitled the title of the applications they specialize in. Does that make sense? So like, I'm gonna throw something out there, something called Surgynet. They may not, they're not, that's not a surgeon net department. It's an IT umbrella, but they call themselves the surgeon net team. I want you to use the terms, the keyword search, search words that I gave you in that keyword search video regarding what keywords to utilize when you're looking for a job. Please utilize, utilize those terms to look for these type of jobs. But again, this is another area like surgeon net or um, there is like a, another team, point of care, point of care team. Like that, those are jobs that you could technically work in as an informatics specialist because they look for medical professionals, but also people who really just want to do more IT-ish work. So again, IT-ish umbrella, looking for the name of the applications that you may be interested in, um, could be helpful also. You have other teams that you could look for, like, like teams that more do like alerts. And you know how those, y'all probably don't pay attention to them, but like alerts that pop up while you're trying to document something. And it's like, morning, you know, you can't order that because you didn't order this and all that. Those type of teams are very technical. Now, when you really get into the programming, when you really get really in depth with more science-based uh, computer science, they will require like certs 
in certain areas. So you can't work in those departments that really hone in into the programming piece, but they will probably start you off and say, okay, you need to get the certifications. And I know informatics specialists who have done that. You can do it. If you really wanna get really deep into like the geek mode stuff, look for those things. But again, that is under the IT umbrella. Look for analysts, look for informatics, look for all those other keywords I gave you in the other video, okay? So I'm gonna give you for that in part one. Check out part two that goes more in depth of other job opportunities that are out there for health informatics specialists and nursing informatics specialists. I'm just trying to broaden you guys' minds and the opportunities that are out there for you to find jobs. All right, you guys, this is Jen Lewis, informatics nurse specialist, signing off.